it is about 7.45 on a Wednesday. I am having some water with lemon right now. I've been waking up early, I haven't vlogged, but I've been waking up early since last week. I've been trying to wake up by 7.30 and so far I've been doing really good. So I've been getting my workout in before P wakes up, which is so crazy, even when she goes to school. And I can't. I wanna say this because you guys know how Tone is. He's like, you should wake up early, but it's been really nice. It's been really nice to get up early and do it and get it over with and then have time to do other things. Like the day lasts so much longer. So that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. So I decided to vlog today. It's going to be a busy day of uh, doing things around the house. So it's gonna be a cleaning, um, just a lot of cleaning. And um, we, I do have to run to the post office quick. So after she wakes up and we eat breakfast, I'll run out to the post office and to grab some coffee because I'm out of coffee. And then we'll come back and I'm going to de redecorate my living room with you guys. Might even bring out some for spring stuff. Haven't decided yet, but we definitely need to clean because I feel like it's done snowing and snow has finally melted kind of. So I could take off these towels that I've had at the entrance and this just needs a good cleaning. So let's get started. I am about to just start my workout right now and I'll see you guys after. And we also have two huge loads of clothes to put away. So a lot to do in the house. And then me and Tone have therapy tonight. So we have to go to Pina's um, so we could get on therapy. Uh, it's, on, it's on Zoom. So we just go there so Pete could hang out with parents with his parents while we are in therapy because we can't do it here when my parents are not here because there's no way that she could just sit for an hour without interrupting us at all so um yeah we're doing that today too so and so hard but it's done thank goodness now i am going to take my collagen and my trim you guys i've shared this before but i take them every single day every single day girl collagen is good for you you guys know i've been taking collagen for years however i found out that the liquid collagen actually absorbs way more powder collagen only 33 percent absorbs into your body this one, I think 80 something percent. Um, and I've seen amazing results with this one. And then trim is more of like a weight loss aid, but um, it inhibits fat storage, improve muscle tone and restores youthful skin. I just take a tablespoon of each every day. I'm gonna make breakfast and then we'll start getting stuff done. Okay, so after breakfast I did what I usually do and cleaned up the kitchen, did the dishes and then I am going to head upstairs to make the beds. First is Penelope's bedroom. I am making her bed. It's super easy to make with this bedding comforter. We're still loving it. I have a discount code at the bottom in the description box in case you guys want to check it out. The only thing that takes long here is putting all 20 million stuffed animals on her bed. So once I get that, I'm heading to my room and making my bed as well. Oh, 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 oh,
once I finished the bed I just went ahead and picked up a little bit of the clothes that I had laying on my desk I've been trying to get better at cleaning it up so that's what I'm doing and then we're gonna go ahead and head out to the post office and run a quick errand before getting back home to decorate we just got back home uh, let me tell you I'm a little upset right now I was at the post office dealing with a problem with my PO box and the lady that works there is always one of them it's always so rude like beyond me how rude she is and she was just being extra nasty today like even her face is nasty not not in a bad not like she's ugly <laughs> she's not ugly but I mean like her face she just looks like she's just pissed off at the world every time you see her and she was so rude and I was just trying to keep my composure because P was there but I was really upset but I need to go back the other lady was so nice she was like I'll call you tomorrow when this guy comes in and figure it out so I was like okay so we just came home I did try Dunkin I didn't want to go to Starbucks because it's farther and Dunkin it, it was right there by the post office so I got the Dunkin cold foam cold brew not it nothing compared to Starbucks the foam is like weird and good job and this coffee is very watered down like even before it, it, it tastes like it was hot coffee poured over ice so that's what I have to say I'm just not having the best day but uh, I did come home to some HelloFresh I didn't even know Tone had ordered it but we did get salmon in a creamy Dijon chive sauce we got mushroom herb shepherd's pie oh that sounds good and we got uh, zucchini tomato uh, flat breads which those we've had before and they're really really good so I don't even know if I have room in my fridge to put these but we will find some room okay I just changed before I get started with anything I need to do some wash our dryer broke and tones that is gonna be able to fix it but we had to order a piece so until it gets there I've been doing wash and going to peanuts to dry it so I'm gonna do some since we have to go there tonight um i'm gonna do some wash now and that will be ready to go by the time we have to go there so we could dry penelope loves helping with wash so whenever i am putting wash in the washer or i'm switching the wash she has to help me here i caught her putting um the whites in so i had to tell her to just put the color ones but i love when she helps me she is so cute all i have for easter so that's good because i don't have to put that much out but i'm gonna make p a turkey sandwich and then we'll get to work mm. is that good okay so while penelope eats i went ahead and got started with cleaning and redecorating i was so excited to redo this space i was so over the decor up here um and i love the way that it turned out so i really hope you guys like it too I'm gonna try to tell you where most things are from um, a lot of them I don't have links for but if I have a link for anything I'll put it down below this candlesticks I made also these two vases the white one and the black one that you're gonna see now I made if you guys didn't watch my last video I'll link it down below make sure you check it out you can make them yourself too the basket um, is from Hobby Lobby this clay vase is also from Hobby Lobby and so is the I think this is a eucalyptus uh, branch. This picture is from Home Goods. I love it. I had been looking for one for the longest time. That's why I hadn't done this video. And I found this one recently and I loved it. The pompas that I just put inside the clay vase are from Amazon. I could definitely link those. They got here super quick and they were very inexpensive. They're usually very expensive. So I was happy to find these. I was a little nervous that they were gonna be like not so cute but they're very cute and then this branch is uh, from Hobby Lobby here is a better look at how it turned out um, I still have to go get candles for the candlesticks I thought the dollar store would have them but they didn't so I have to grab them at Hobby Lobby next time I go I forgot to get them the last time I was there uh, but I love the way it turned out and now here on this little cutout to my kitchen I'm gonna go ahead and put 
these little arrangements that I also shared with you on my last video. This wooden stand is from Hobby Lobby. I absolutely love it. I had it on the other little cutout, but I decided to put my diffuser up in here and decorate around it a little bit. I usually don't do this, but I really like the way that it turned out. I think it looks super cute. The little bunny is from Target's dollar spot. Don't worry, I took off the tag. I know it was still on, but I cut it off at the end. So now that that is all decorated and nice, we are gonna go ahead and wipe down the blinds clean away the dust on the other spots Penelope wanted to clean her toy truck and I love that I love when she helps me because I want her to be used to it um, so she is here dusting her toy truck and then we're gonna go ahead and put her dolls back <laughs> Okay, this piece I was also very excited to put up. I found this at Target. It was $30 and I absolutely love, love, love it. It's a macrame kind of thing. I don't know, it's just yarn and a ball. But I love the way it looks there and I just loved this piece. Moving on to the living room, I'm just going to wipe everything down and put a little bit of decor here. There's not a little a lot, there's not really a lot of places to decorate in here, so it's super simple and easy to put a little bit of uh, seasonal decor. Usually for a deeper spring clean, I will move the couch or have Tom pick it up so I could uh, vacuum underneath it. But because we did this uh, about two weeks ago, I'm not going to do it. But I am taking off all my cushions, kind of like slapping them a little bit. <laughs> Just fluffing them up, you know. Um, and then I'm also going to go ahead and vacuum in between the cushions because I did not do this last time.
must have left Penelope at the post office. Where could she be? <laughs> hey, Poops. <laughs> what are you doing there? I'm just watching this nice cold stuff. Oh, okay, goodbye. So once everything was decorated and wiped down in this room, I went ahead and vacuumed so Penelope could watch Story Story without me interrupting her movie um, and then went back to the dining room to finish in there. And yes, I am one of those people. I still had my Christmas wreath up. It wasn't too Christmassy, so I didn't feel like it was too bad. But now that spring is amongst us, it was time to take it down. So once I finished decorating everything, I just put my regular decorations in this box. And I'm taking them down to the basement. So when I have to redecorate back to normal, everything will be in the same spot. First. Hi, we gotta go home. Wear some good snuggies. Give me this so I just wear the best snuggies in the world. All them oh, snuggies. Have you seen Boss? So I shared this on my last video but here I am just changing this bowl a little bit. I like to get these fillings from um, Targets from Opa House. These boxes of fillers for a vase or a basket. Love these. I'm going to leave the lighter flowers. I took down the darker flowers and then I had these eggs from last year which I thought were really pretty so I went ahead and put those in there. I also decided to change the decor on this table a little bit. Um, first I am wiping it down and then I'll tell you where I got the things that go on top from. This candle holder is from Hobby Lobby and I absolutely love it, but I know Home Goods has a couple of different ones as well. And then the eucalyptus leaves and the little vase is from Target's Dollar Spot. No, Dollar Spot the branches and then regular um, Target decor. And then the little Easter sign was from Walmart and these little eggs are from last year from Target's Dollar Spot. It is 4 30 i'm almost done I had to put a million boxes in the car i didn't record that Whew, but that took forever i finished decorating everything how i wanted to so the last thing i need to do is vacuum there's stuff all over the floor and then i need to get ready and chop out vegetables to take to pina's house because we are going and we're going to make dinner there but i wanted to take the vegetables prep i'm making what's it called tostadas which i'll share how i do them vegetarian tostadas just pretty much do veggies with Mexican seasoning and I do a coleslaw, I do free fried beans and then the tostadas which I'll share with you what they are but I'm gonna vacuum and then tomorrow P has school in the morning so after I drop her off I'll come back and mop uh, because I'm probably not gonna have time to do it today so let me vacuum and I'll see you guys.
vacuumed everything like I wanted to and now I need to get stuff ready for dinner I wanted to take some stuff already ready so these are the tostadas it's pretty much like making tacos but instead of tacos you're putting them on top of these so I'm taking those I have two avocados which I'll mash up there and refried beans and now what I'm gonna do real quick before we go is I'm gonna chop up some vegetables I'm gonna clean these mushrooms I'm gonna chop up some vegetables and put them in a bowl and then I'll just take them already ready to go. That way I could just get there, dump them in, and not worry about anything. So I'm gonna wash them now and do that. Okay, for these veggie tostadas or veggie tacos, you could do um, whatever veggies you want. I am doing red peppers, onions, broccoli, and mushrooms. Um, also, if I would have zucchini, I would add that to that, but you could go ahead and do any vegetables you like. Now that I have them all chopped up, I'm putting them in this container and we're doing the coleslaw. I'm doing a tricolor coleslaw. Um, so I add this law. I use agave to add a little sweetness, mayo or Greek yogurt if you want to make it healthier. I don't have Greek yogurt, so I'm using mayo. Salt and pepper and a healthy squeeze of a lime or lemon. And it will be so good, you guys. You could also add cilantro. Peanut doesn't like cilantro, so I didn't add any. But you could add cilantro and it will also be super yummy. So once I got everything ready for dinner, I went upstairs and quickly put the clothes away because I needed to take the baskets with the wet clothes to Pina's house. I couldn't show you what I was doing when I got here because we were in a rush, but I just put all the veggies in a pan, onion, peppers, uh, mushrooms, and broccoli. You could add any other vegetables you want. And I added some taco seasoning, a little bit of salt, uh, and a little bit of water and olive oil and that is it you're just gonna saute these until they're nice and soft and you have your filling or your topping for your tostadas you know make some rice and then that's the refried beans and that's dinner okay just finished dinner it was so good i stuffed my face i ate so much but it was really really good and now we are gonna go in to therapy this light is really yellow Guys, the uh, session was oh my god, putting alcohol for my lips because they hurt so bad. They're so chopped. Hold on. That therapy session was intense. Uh, sometimes, you know, we've been doing really good, but sometimes therapy makes you bring out like things that have happened not in the past like you know everyday things and then you argue <laughs> and that's what just happened and i just got upset because sometimes i feel like you know just getting upset <laughs> but everything's good we're good after it you just feel so relief and so good like after it you like love each other so much <laughs> if that makes sense um i'm going back down oh this feels He's on bath duty. He usually is the bath guy. I hate giving baths and he's okay with it. So I just got everything ready for him and he's giving Pia a bath. We're watching Trash TV. What do you think about this <laughs> Temptation Island? Who does this? This is just so bizarre that your relationship would be crumbling down Where and you go to a Temptation Island. On some nice island, I don't know. And there comes my stud, bringing me a little treat. Oh yeah! For real. <laughs> I was trying to be a cat. <laughs> She said, Boogie, she scared you. Mm -hmm.
Once we got home, it was bedtime. Penelope had school the next day, so I went ahead and picked out her clothes. I always leave it laying out, and I got her bed ready while Tone got her milk, and she was just hanging out playing Barbies for two minutes while I do this. And then we just put her to sleep, and that's pretty much our whole day. We got so much done. It was a long day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you would like to see more of this type of videos. Got my hair. My hair is messy. But you guys, Penelope sleeping. Tone made her lunch. I fell asleep with her. I'm so tired today so tired i've decided that i'm not gonna I'm, I'm supposed to edit this vlog and have it up by tomorrow morning but i'm so drained today it wasn't the best day mentally i feel like yesterday was a hard day with penelope and today was kind of a hard day too because i was in a funk so i'm just super tired and i do not have any desire to um be in the computer at all but i might just skip tomorrow's workout and do it friday usually i take fridays out but i might just skip tomorrow since we have a long day and wake up early anyways and edit so that's the best i could do i'm so tired but i hope you guys enjoyed this video um i love the way that everything turned out downstairs i love the dining room it looks so cute um let me know what you guys think don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and we'll see you guys on my next vlog. Bye.